beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful divine feminine energy reading i am going to be seeing how this new moon in aries total solar eclipse is supporting the divine feminine i did do one for the divine masculine so if you haven't already go and check that out and i did do a twin flame reading for the total solar eclipse new moon in aries as well which we've been up yesterday so if that is of interest you can make sure you go and check that out very powerful what's going on right now you could be really feeling the intensities of these energies, but it is it's because your life is resetting. It's a new chapter opening up for you. And this is about your personal transformation. And there's this acceleration and everything that you're going through, everything you're facing right now is leading you to the light. And it could feel very dark, but you're being forced to actually put light into all situations. Um, because you do have that love, that strength that is within you. And this is what this journey is all about, is the path of unconditional love. And you are so very close to home. You've been through so much. <laughs> Beautiful soul that's watching. And it doesn't matter if you're a divine masculine or a divine feminine that's watching. This is the divine feminine energy that's within you. So I'm bringing the soul's journey to see what is going on for the divine feminine and how these energies are supporting the divine feminines with the solar eclipse. Uh, new moon in Aries. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you continuously give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you. And these ones flipped out. You're surrendering at this time. <laughs> We've got throat chakra coming through, so there may have been some situations that you've been put in recently where you've had this difficulty and you've really had to speak up and express your truth. And we do have to face this adversity, this difficulty being on this journey. Everything changes and your mission is to change old templates and you're creating new templates and it brings difficulty. <laughs> it does. Um, and you're having to be so strong and it's all a bit too much for you. So you're just surrendering. You've been forced to surrender because... <laughs> You're out of knowing what to do now <laughs> and you've just about had enough. And it isn't nice when we get to that point when we do surrender. But again, that's God, the universe, the angels. These energies are supporting you and forcing you to surrender to divine. I can release my need to control. Yes, you want to know everything. <laughs> you want to sort everything out. You want to fix everything. And what you're realising is that you, you, know, you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to figure this out. Your job is to be remain in your heart space and to speak your truth, to put yourself first in your life. And by putting yourself first in your life, making yourself priority is making everybody else's life blissful as well because you're showing up for them 100% and by you speaking your tr truth if that's resonating with you what's going on for you around this time or you know last few days um is that by you speaking your truth expressing what you've been holding back is actually helping others because it's pushing them even if it's something that you've got to say to somebody that's you feel as if you're hurting them you're not hurting them, you're revealing the truth and it's part of their journey and it's helping them move on to their next part of their journey, opening up things for them, making them look at what's going on within them as well, um, to take responsibility of themselves. But that may not resonate with all of you, but something's going on with the throat chakra here. So you may be having sore throats or your throat is croaky because of this activation. Um, and we've got third eye chakra with surrender as well. So hold that vision, stay focused, see through the pain, see through the illusions and let go and surrender. Allow God the universe in and we've got the red, which is about uh, root chakra. You're longing for this stability, to feel safe. And you're, you're realising that the only person that can make you feel safe is yourself um, and for you to just have this strong faith to trust in God to surrender to divine time of how things are all going to unfold and 
for you on your journey. This is what's going on with your divine feminine energy within you, beautiful soul that's watching. So it doesn't matter if you're uh, divine masculine that's watching. It really doesn't. So what else wants to come through? Blame. Releasing this blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yes. We've got throat chakra coming through here again and sacral chakra. And this colour here is a bit solar plexus and sacral chakra mixed together. Releasing this victim mentality of blaming everybody outside of you and i feel for majority of that you're watching if you're anything like me you blame yourself for everything you're just like oh i could have done this better and if i hadn't done that it's, everything's always my fault being so hard on yourself releasing this blame and you know this thing about looking outside of yourself thinking you know if they hadn't done this if you haven't done that um, everything would be okay. I wouldn't be finding this difficult. I wouldn't be finding myself in this difficult situation facing this adversity. Um, and you could be divine feminine where you're, you've been going on for such a long time blaming this physical person, your divine muscle that's come into your life, where you're just like, oh, it's all your fault. You're taking this total responsibility and you're surrendering to this difficulty, this adversity. You're letting go of this control, which means that you're coming, you know, you're in your heart space. You're coming into your heart space, um, trusting. And at the bottom of the deck is, yeah, releasing ego. I love myself and I see myself in everybody. Um, it doesn't work, this journey, when I'm coming from, you know, ego, mind, pride. I'm not going to allow my pride to get in my way anymore. And I want to give this love to myself. And by giving love to myself, I see love in everybody that is around me. I don't feel as if I need to blame anyone outside of me. I don't feel as if I need to blame myself for everything. Because that love is, I can, I'm connected with that love for myself. So that's what's going on right now for the divine feminines. Really making friends with themselves. <laughs> not being against themselves I, I definitely feel this blame is definitely where you have been so hard on yourself um i mean of course we have to take this responsibility of our energy but it's not about being against us being hard on ourselves thinking that we've done everything wrong because that's just bringing us back into that lower energy and it's taken us away you know from our from being in our heart the only way that you're in your heart is when you're loving yourself being kind to yourself by showing up for yourself um so it's full on time for the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy but it's all beautiful it's all divine so i'm going to bring in the divine feminine message tarot from beautiful Liz from guided by angels um to see the energy for the divine feminine and there is little messages here so if you are a divine masculine that's watching this is what your divine feminine would love to share and express in this moment um around this time of the solar eclipse new moon in aries um so let's see nice clear message what's going on for the divine feminine how is this New moon in Aries, total, exp uh, total <laughs> eclipse, <laughs> um, solar eclipse, supporting the death, can't make it up, death, the divine masculines had the death card that came out um, at the bottom of the deck, I'm transforming through pain, through this difficulty, but I'm surrendering to this now, I'm letting go of blaming myself and blaming everything around me. I really am letting go and I'm I'm ending something big here. I'm walking away from something big. The divine feminines is sharing the divine if you're a divine masculine and um new things are opening up for the divine feminines, this new beginning, this new chapter, because they've decided because they've been releasing the blame. They can't do it anymore. It doesn't work. Because they're surrendering to divine. Transformation, big time. 
King, of, sorry, Knight of Pentacles, not King. Knight of Pentacles, I know that everything will be okay because I'm trusting in God. I'm not doing this by myself. I know that the God, I know that God, the universe angels have my back. And Queen of Pentacles. I'm strong, independent and self-assured. Yeah, I'm so strong because I've been learning through the pain, through this difficulty. Hmm. I've gained so much strength and I've really had to take a good look at myself and to make peace with myself. So I'm feeling self-assured. I'm actually on my side. I know that everything is going to be okay when I'm in my heart space, when I'm in my truth. And that's the way forwards for me. By being in blame, by me trying to control, by me seeing everything as a difficulty, he, he hasn't been getting me anywhere. So I'm giving all of it up. <laughs> um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have five of cups. I'm learning to see the past the pain. Yeah, I'm seeing through the pain. I'm seeing through the illusions. I know that it's not real. I know the only thing that is real is love. But walking away from those beliefs, that conditioning I've had for such a long time has been difficult because that's all I knew. I felt as if I was falling by me actually allowing God to trust in God. I felt as if I was falling. Um, but there's been so many different things that have happened in my life by being on this journey where God has stepped in, the universe has showed me that it has always got my back, that I am safe. Um, and when I'm on my side, when I'm giving off to myself, that is when I really feel it. And that's where I feel as if I can do anything and um, I can see through that pain to see through the illusion. So this is absolutely beautiful what's coming through for the Divine and Feminine, how this total solar eclipse new moon in Aries is supporting the Divine and Feminine. So, so make sure you do take good care of yourselves with these energies and that you do stay focused, that you believe and you trust whatever's going on for you, to trust that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you would like support, all the information is in the description box down below, all my services I offer. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And don't forget to press that notification bell. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See you. Oh, but you're so